Adam and Danielle Busby made headlines when they welcomed the first female set of quintuplets in the United States and later when their TLC show, Outdaughter, debuted. While the two focus on raising their kids, they've also prioritized their romance. Here's the truth about their relationship. The two reality stars were much like any two young people with jobs. They both worked at Target, America's favorite superstore. According to Danielle's blog, It's a Buzz World, it was there that they locked eyes for the first time. But their meet-cute moment didn't arrive like a Nora Ephron film or a Mindy Kaling comedy. It took Adam months to work up the nerve to talk to Danielle. She wrote, After a few months of working almost side-by-side -side together at Target, Adam finally got the courage to say a few words to me. The first thing that Adam said to Danielle was, Hey, beautiful. It was an inauspicious start. Danielle wasn't too impressed. As Danielle wrote on her blog, My thoughts at first were, Oh wow, you never talked to me and now you're trying to hit on me. Real smooth. Despite this romantic fumble, Adam persevered and eventually won Danielle over. The two began eating lunch together during their breaks at Target. It was a thrilling romantic respite from smiling at customers and stocking shelves. After Adam and Danielle Busby spent some time getting to know each other, Adam realized that he had to make a move. He asked Danielle out on a date. According to Danielle, Adam may have begged for it. It remains unknown to this day whether or not Adam crawled on all fours or hired a mariachi band. Fortunately for Adam, Danielle said yes. Their first date didn't go according to plan. Their planned evening rendezvous after a long day of toiling at Target was botched from the start. As Danielle explained, Workday finally ends, I go home to get ready, and the phone rings. It's Adam. He basically goes on to tell me he decided to hang out with his boys. Adam's bros had sabotaged the couple's fateful first date. An unremarkable night of slamming down cans of Pabst Blue Ribbon with the boys mattered more to Adam than untangling the ribbon to Danielle's heart. Danielle was far from thrilled. She was frustrated and came close to bolting on Adam. At this point, I'm thinking, this guy, who does he think he is, ditching me? I'm done with him. Who could blame her? And who could blame Adam? Men are often clueless when a clear path to romantic happiness shimmers ahead of them. Fortunately, this wasn't how outdaughtered stars Adam and Danielle Busby's love story ended. Adam Busby did not give up. He asked Danielle out again. His bros kept their distance. He didn't ditch her the second time. But this date turned out to be even more confusing for Danielle. Adam picked Danielle up and went home to change. As Danielle patiently waited for Adam in his parents' living room, his family showed up and started asking her questions. It was a strange interrogation that nearly took the whirlwind out of their romance. As Danielle explained, We finally are going on our first date, and Adam fails to tell me we are going out with his family for his sister's birthday dinner. Somehow, despite Adam's strange and eager ideas about family inclusiveness, the new couple made things official that very evening. Adam may not have known how to follow through with a woman, but he did understand how to keep her around. As Danielle wrote, For some strange reason, this Adam guy asked me officially to be his girlfriend later that night, and wait for it, I actually said yes. This may not have been the smoothest start to a relationship, but it was a memorable one. Adam and Danielle continued to date for two years as boyfriend and girlfriend. Adam had fumbled his early dates with Danielle, but he was smooth and on point when it came to popping the question. Danielle reported that it was the perfect proposal. Two and a half years later, he asked what I wanted for my birthday, and I said a necklace, bracelet, or a right-hand ring. And this guy ends up buying me an engagement ring. I had no idea. He proposed the day after my birthday, Christmas Eve, and I was in complete shock. According to Country Living magazine, Adam's thoughtful proposal swept Danielle off her feet. He was so nervous and acting so strange, and he was getting on my nerves because he was acting so weird. Little did I know, he was getting down on one knee at that moment. Fortunately for Adam, Danielle said yes. This was far from the end of the excitement between them. It took just over three years for Adam to tame his nervousness and win the woman dear to his heart. Adam and Danielle Busby tied the knot on July 22, 2006, but according to Country Living, the wedding day was far from smooth. Our wedding was kept small, but boy oh boy was it a challenging one to plan. This was right after Hurricane Rita wiped out Lake Charles and pretty much every venue was damaged. But we were able to find a little chapel to get married in.
While the winds and the water wiped out the Louisiana city, the hurricane could not dampen Adam and Danielle's happiness on their wedding day. We were young and in love, so we didn't really care about where and what it all looked like. We were just looking forward to the day we would officially commit in front of God to be together forever. Out Daughtered fans know that Adam and Danielle Busby now live in Houston, Texas with their six daughters, but that isn't where they grew up. They left their hometown not long after they got hitched. Yes, Lake Charles had been a draw, but it's often unwise to start a new marriage in a waterbogged living room. The two sought adventure after they tied the knot. Adam, Danielle, Blake, and the Quince have journeyed home to Lake Charles on Out Daughtered to visit their family. You can take a man away from his hometown, but you can't take the hometown away from his nature. The family now lives in Texas, but even while living in another state, the Busbys could not escape the wrath of intrusive hurricanes. In 2017, Hurricane Harvey hit Houston. The family's home was not damaged, but Danielle's mother's home was. But the Busbys kept up a love that defied the natural elements. Texas inspired Adam and Danielle in the spirit of many country crooners. There were no fences in their hearts. They were free as the wind. They became one. Run wild horses, run. Adam and Danielle Busby never anticipated national attention after Danielle became pregnant with the only set of all-female quintuplets in the United States. But before the five smiling babies made the Busbys a mighty fine family living large in the Lone State, the cowboy had a bit of unanticipated trouble on the ranch. After well over a year of trying to conceive, we realized that we have a problem with infertility. We would do whatever it took to get pregnant, so we started the long process of fertility treatments. We went over a year trying different drugs and IUI procedures with no luck. Not able to do IVF because we had depleted our savings after the many months of IUI procedures and fertility specialists' visits, we completely laid it at God's feet and said that we would try one last time. But what a last time it was! Danielle got pregnant! Nine months later, their oldest daughter Blake became a proud Texas citizen. Blake was a baby cuter than a Texas blue bonnet. Clearly, it was meant to be. But Blake wasn't the only new kid bouncing up and down on the wagon. Danielle went through the same procedure for a second baby. The fertility treatment worked better than anyone had planned. The family of three discovered that more than one kid was on the way. The Busbys beat the odds, the Quints were born, and Adam and Danielle walked into the bright Texas sunset with six daughters that made them happier than an unemployed man holding up his winning lottery ticket. Of course, raising six young children at home is not for the faint of heart. Adam and Danielle were often overwhelmed. This was a family for which the usual rules of insomnia and stress eating did not apply. But Adam and Danielle eked out the time to care for each other as the cries of six babies wailed through their home like an unruly choir singing a Bach cantata for the first time. As Danielle explained in an interview with TLC, Because there's so much chaos and so much to do even after the kids are all asleep, to me it's just make being mindful of, hey, what was your day like? How do Adam and Danielle keep the sparks alive when they barely have the time to talk to each other? As Adam explained to TLC, We could get through to Wednesday, and I felt like I didn't even talk to you. Danielle and I have so much has given us like each other like a head nod. Taking the time to ask your partner how her day was is often something that eludes most parentless couples. But with six kids to take care of, this was no easy feat. But Adam and Danielle knew how to make it work. Still, it was always necessary for Adam and Danielle to have clear lines of communication. When speaking with TLC, Adam discussed how vital it was to open up the floodgates of checking in. Open up that communication with your spouse and just, you know, let them know how you feel. Don't just let it go. Despite the couple's rocky courtship, Adam's fatherhood has given him the wisdom to offer spot-on relationship advice. Talk to each other about how important that one-on-one -on -one time is. But how do Adam and Danielle get alone time with so many kids to take care of? Well, they found a loophole by scheduling every moment in their lives, including their one-on-one -on -one time. If the couple knows that the time will happen, it will happen. And within that framework, Adam and Danielle have proven that the sparks can fly and that their relationship can be worthwhile. 
Of course, spending alone time isn't the only quality that a couple with six daughters needs to stay on top of. Much like a week of lavish dinners each night at five-star restaurants, half a dozen little ones can take a big hit on your finances. And when Danielle became pregnant, she was forced to leave work. This made things more difficult. I used to work full-time and we had two incomes coming in. We had to make the call when I was pregnant to make the kids a priority, and it took me away from my job. We budget and we do what we can to make ends meet and make it work." Adam and Danielle Busby thought they were just getting one baby. They could not believe that the verdict from the doctors involved quince. This was the kind of sudden news that would make a couple expecting twins pinch their bellies and call each other a jelly donut. As they told People magazine, it took the pair some time to believe the news was true. When we found out that we were having quintuplets, I mean, Adam just about passed out. I just started laughing hysterically. I was like, we're just these normal people. How on earth is this happening to us? When talking about the new levels of chaos in their lives that the addition of five babies brought, Adam told People that the couple had learned to simply laugh. But what we've learned is that sometimes there's nothing you can do but look at each other and laugh about it. This is what it is now. This is our new normal. Hey, they do say that laughter is the best medicine. Adam and Danielle learned to be parents for six kids on the fast track, and they were not immune to postpartum depression, which about 10% of new fathers deal with. On a special episode of Outdaughtered, Adam revealed that he was one such father who suffered from this malady. It was such a shock, looking it up and looking at symptoms, reading them line for line like, oh yep, I feel like that. But Danielle was there for her husband 100%. She told him on one episode, I want to help you. I don't want you to be like this and suffer. Despite the ups and downs of parenting, Adam and Danielle are determined to stick together through it all. Awkward first dates, infertility, six daughters… It's enough to make any couple drive to a remote area of the woods and sing goth ballads at the top of their lungs. But Adam and Danielle have stayed very much in love. In fact, the two went on a trip to celebrate 13 years together in July 2019. As Adam noted on Instagram in a photo of the couple kissing in the crystal clear splendor of nature, another great getaway with my one and only. Batteries are recharged and ready to get back to Houston and hit the ground running. Happy 13 years, beautiful. And to think that Adam and Danielle Busby started off as two nervous kids who fell for each other while sharing sandwiches in the break room at Target. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.